Hello everyone! Welcome back to my English teaching channel. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I will link my self-introduction video down below or up here or somewhere up here. <laughs> Today's video is going to be the difference between I think, I suppose, and I guess. So today we're going to learn three words to think, to suppose, and to guess. So first I'm going to briefly go over the definitions. The definition of to think means to have a particular belief or idea or opinion. She thought that nothing would be the same again is the same as she believed that nothing would be the same again. In the case of an opinion, we could say, I think this salad is delicious. So to think that something is delicious is to have an opinion. To suppose means to think or assume that something is true or likely, but lack proof or certain knowledge. I suppose I got there about noon means I lack the information or knowledge to say for sure I arrived at noon, but I suppose it's likely that I arrived at noon. To guess means to estimate or conclude something without sufficient information to be sure of being correct. I guess Mr. Smith is about 35 or 36 years old means the same thing as I don't know Mr. Smith's age, but a close estimate might be 35 or 36 years old. So now you might be thinking, okay, guess and suppose are very similar. So what's the difference? Suppose usually means to come to a conclusion from the information you have, even if you don't have enough information to be certain. Guess is sometimes used to mean approximately the same thing. However, Guess can mean that you are making a statement with very little information or no information at all. There is one big difference between suppose and guess. Guess can also be used as a noun. It means an opinion that you reach without any evidence or the act of forming such an opinion. We use to take a guess or to make a guess. For example, to take a guess at someone's weight. We can't say to take a suppose or to make a suppose. We can only use take or make with guess. To take a guess, to make a guess. They're a little tricky, I know. So let's start with I think. So out of these three, I think sounds the most sure. Maybe not 100%, but pretty close. It can also be used to express your opinion about something. So one example could be, So where do you want to go on your next vacation? Hmm. I think Hawaii would be really good. So here we are expressing our opinion and also we think Hawaii would be fun. Perhaps we've never been to Hawaii, but in our mind, hmm, Hawaii seems fun. Another example. Do you remember what time the movie starts? I think the website said eight o'clock. In this example, it's not our opinion we're talking about, but we are pretty sure the website said 8 o'clock. Maybe 
We are not 100% sure. Don't blame me if I'm wrong, but I think eight o'clock. So how about I suppose? So I suppose sounds less sure than I think. So I think we are pretty sure. I suppose, uh, not that sure. Here's one example. Hey, shouldn't you be doing your homework? I really wanted to watch this TV show, but I suppose you're right. Another example. I made this dessert for the party tonight, but is it enough for 10 people? Hmm, I suppose it's enough. To suppose means to think that something is likely to be true. Hmm. Dan's not answering his phone. I suppose he's busy. I suppose also could sound a little bit formal rather than I guess or I think. I suppose the doctor is right. This surgery is very dangerous. And for the final one, we're gonna learn I guess. I guess sounds like you don't have a lot of information, but you are making a quick thought. So one example. Hey Brie, I got you a present. Can you guess what it is? Oh, thank you. Hmm. It's pretty light. If I had to guess, I'd say it's empty. Oh, you're right. It is empty. Here's another situation that we use, I guess, a lot. It's when we kind of feel defeated, like there's no other choice. It's already midnight. We've missed the last train. Mm. I guess we have to take a taxi then. Here's one more example for I guess. It's been raining since yesterday. Does that mean the fireworks are going to be canceled? I guess so. I'm going to go over the three definitions one more time to make sure you understand properly. To suppose means to assume something based on some evidence or probability, but without having certain proof. Saying, I suppose you have a good reason for missing dinner means I'm sure you probably have a good reason for missing dinner. Another example, it's 5 p.m. and nobody answered the phone at the office. I suppose they've already gone home. This means the same as, I know the office closes at a certain time. Based on that, and the evidence that nobody answered the phone, I assume they've already gone home. To guess means to estimate something without having sufficient information to be exactly correct. There's a long line in front of the ramen shop. I guess there will be a long wait for a table. Because there is a long line, I estimate that there will be a long wait for a table. Remember, there is one big difference between to suppose and to guess. To guess can also be used as a noun. We can say to make a guess or to take a guess. We cannot use suppose as a noun. Suppose also sounds a little bit formal sometimes. And guess can sometimes be used the same as suppose. However, guess can be used when you have little or no information at all. So please remember these differences when you use suppose and guess in conversation. To think means to believe something or have an opinion or idea. For example, I don't think Lori will get the job means, in my opinion, I don't believe Lori will get the job. One more example, 
I think it is important to learn English. This means I believe it is important to learn English. So those are the differences between I think, I suppose, and I guess. Do you guys have a better understanding of those three words now? So for your homework, I would like you to comment down below and use I think, I suppose, and I guess. Try to make three sentences using these words and the different nuances. I think that's it for this video today. I suppose you learned a lot from this video, hopefully, and I guess I'll have to make some more videos like this in the future. Don't forget to do your homework in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Bye!